Okay, we are live here at Full Stack Academy. Welcome everyone to our Full Stack Demo Day. We'll have present presentations from our remote campus. Now, remote students are all over the country. There's some in o California, some in Texas, um, and then Midwest and Philadelphia and DC. And of course, we also have a student right here in Brooklyn and a student abroad in Jakarta. Next, we'll go to our Chicago campus. They're coming in from the beautiful 1871 campus there um, in the, the Merchandise Mart. We have three teams there, followed by Grace Hopper in New York. We'll have five teams presenting from Grace Hopper, and then eight teams from New York's full side campus. Each of these balloons that you see here represents a Bitcoin transaction happening in real time with bigger balloons or airships for bigger sizes. Um, as I was watching some of those balloons move up in the sky, I was thinking about all the lost opportunities I've had in investing in Bitcoin. Um, <laughs> Uh, coming up next, we have Colin joining us from Chicago, a uh, beautiful 1871 campus in Chicago. Uh, I've been working with these Chicago teams for the last few months, and this first team, their app is called SoundCrowd. Uh, and Chris is about to record some guitar for us while I join in from a remote location. After he's done naming the track, he's going to give it a go. Let's listen in. Nice. <laughs> so I've got a vacation coming up, and I'd like to see where I can go on a $2,000 budget. I'll set the budget to $2,000, and I'll name our trip vacation. I'll be departing from Chicago on February 1st of next year. I see some cheap flights to Europe, one to Norway. Looks like there's another one to Spain. Oh, Vienna. I've always wanted to go to Austria, and that's a great David. price. The Grace Hopper program is a full-time um, intensive web development program, just like the um, full stack program here in New York and the remote in Chicago has the same curriculum and often the same staff. What makes it different is that it is um, specific, specifically for women. So in the game, players can travel to a city and treat it to bring its infection level down. There are also city cards, which can be used to make direct flights to cities or build research stations and or cure diseases. It's great to see all of the whiteboards across the entire campus covered in graphs, covered in graphs of, of, disease <laughs> of diseases. <spread>. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doing anything illegal here. Hi, my name is Michelle Sharfstein, and my partners are Patricia Rosario and Alice Chen. And together, we built Recipe Me, a web application that suggests recipes to users based on their preferences and nutritional intake. One thing I see a lot of um, students uh, about student projects that they oftentimes will take um take paths that are like just take a lot of guts to go down right i think like parsing a receipt is something that is is a hard technical problem right to put yeah, te I mean, tesseract and lsh easy. yeah um it's actually it, it is actually challenging i'm sure they found out yeah and so yeah. Th that they were able to get anything accomplished is pretty awesome okay. i think to, to start things off users first drag an undefined model from the sidebar into the canvas you can click into a form to add additional model information, such as the table name, the table columns, and table validations. You know, I, uh, I never tire of seeing students try this project because I feel a little bit like it's kind of like a, a grail quest, right? And that developers have, have dreamed about not writing, uh, writing nice tools around databases for a long time, but it's, uh, it's difficult. And, um, you know, a lot of interesting things they, they solved around kind of how do you, um, keep the modules tight, generate the files, um, and, and do the seating order. <clears throat> Upon conception of our idea, we realized that the best place to meet up is not usually the exact, exact geographic center. For example, if I'm on the Upper East Side and my friend is in Astoria, that could put us in the East River or worse, Roosevelt Island. Yeah, I think it was, I like the presentation, it was like kind of something that transitioned from, okay, this is pretty cool, to like a very cool use yeah. of, um, how algorithms really like drive our life. A good example of how algorithms are everywhere in our life. I also think that they need to add something to the algorithm because it's travel time is very much like how I view it. But if someone emails me and it's my treat, I'm like, where's the island here? I come. So, <laughs> That's right. Who's paying? Uh, who's paying? Who's it's like paying the other part get, of my. Should get some priority. That's fair. <laughs> Which uh, said, remember that first week when Pokemon Go came out and how everybody was going outside and having a lot of fun and talking to strangers? I, I feel like this uh, this app that we have right here um, really holds on to uh, that idea that we can use augmented reality to make actual reality a whole lot more fun and get ourselves um, out and running around. Now um, in play, players who near a flag render um, trigger uh, Captar's augmented reality mode 
with a split screen camera view with a flag overlay. And they, they said they wanted to want to be in the Android and the App Store. Is that um is that really reality with Ragnar? But they're able to get both. Yeah, like, yeah, they're able to get with on both, both phones. I, I, I was really impressed by that as well. It's like, yeah. oh wow, that's that's actually the promise of React Native, and yeah, it, can't, it really came out there. Nice work, Facebook. If you're watching, <laughs> <laughs> we have so many games. I'm I'm gonna beat you at Trinal Fetris. I'm gonna beat you at Advanced Wars Online. Right. First of all, a, a round of applause to all of our students who presented today. In first place, the winner for Developer Award is. SoundCloud. Our, our very first presentation. Yeah. Chicago has a pretty good winning streak. Um, yeah. With... I mean, the Cubs are playing tonight. Yeah. <laughs> One more W for Chicago. Okay. Um, right. I don't even know what that means. I know nothing about sports. So. <laughs> well, that was good. That, that, was, was good. that was good. Okay. That okay. Was One more W for Chicago. Perfect. All and right. the winner of the Facebook Live Award is Recipe Me. All right. Wow. People out there are making really bad food choices, apparently. That's <laughs> it's like they need help. They need help. That. All right. All right. Well, uh, that wraps up another demo day at Full Stack and Grace Hopper. These are always can't fun believe to... it. Yeah, I can't believe it. You can't yeah. believe it. And, um, you know, I was, if you're interested in learning more about what we're doing here at Full Stack Academy or Grace Hopper, check us out at fullstackacademy.com and gracehopper.com. And we'll see you again in seven weeks for the next Full Stack and Grace Hopper demo day.